Land is the basis of all independence. How you doing? Uh, this is a quick video on um, this little irrigation system that me and my kids put together uh, over the weekend. All right, and I want to just a little disclaimer here. I am not a handyman whatsoever, and this is something that me and my kids have just tried out, and it seems to work decently. But you know, here it is. Um, so this is years ago. I bought this water barrel that I have attached. Uh, to the gutters coming from the roof and I've been catching a lot of water every year this thing fills up with rain within, within, within about three minutes of rain of hard Florida rain and so recently I decided well I'm gonna build a garden bed next to the water barrel so I can just use the water wisely and I and I figured you know just in case the ship hits the sand and and you know we don't have water for some reason you never know how the things are going in the world today well, I want to be able to catch my own rainwater and be able to use it efficiently. And this is one of the ways of doing it. So I started looking up on YouTube different ways that people did their little uh, irrigation systems uh, attached to the water barrels. And I found some different ways. This doesn't quite look like the majority of the ways that I've seen, but I decided, you know, to take, to try my own way of doing this. And so this is what we, me and my kids came up with. All right, so it's, uh, as you can see here, well, I went to Home Depot and I was fortunate enough to meet a guy by the name of Jose who worked in plumbing back in his home country of Puerto Rico. But uh, as you can see here, he, um, he advised me to get this little uh, attachment piece here, which I can screw on and screw off at any time. So if I ever want to use the barrel, I can still use the barrel independent of all this, right? He gave me one of these little sockets here, uh, the little joint pieces. Um, and then he told me about, he asked me how far the barrel was from the, from the water, from the, uh, watermelon garden, garden bed. And I told him, so he advised me to get some pieces about this long. If I can do this all over again, I'd probably actually would get a shorter PVC pipe and I'd probably elevate this bed or this barrel much higher. So there'd be more pressure, uh, going down into the garden bed with the water. All right, but this still works just the way it is. It's just something I, I, I thought about after the fact. So he said uh, he ended up cutting, sawing this PVC pipe, and he gave me this joint right here, 90 degree angle joint, and so to put it right here. And then I also he also gave me this other joint at the end here to be able to attach this piece here. Now this piece here, oh, and by the way, when he told me to attach it, he said you can't just attach them because once you start flowing uh you, once you turn on the water and water starts flowing through these pipes what you end up seeing is that the pressure is going to probably make these things pop up so he gave me this special kind of pvc pipe glue and he told me to put it on put it on the insides of each one of the joints but also put it on the pipe itself and then just let it sit for about 20 minutes that's where this blue thing is that you see here all right that's the that's the glue the pvc pipe glue and you can find all this in the same aisle in Home Depot. And so he gave me this piece here. And he said, if, depending on how big your garden bed is, how many of you want, you can find a piece like this where you can attach the little rubber wire, the little rubber drip wires. Um, you can, there's one that had a four, it was a four piece. It was one that was a, that was a two piece. I decided to get the six piece because I wasn't even sure exactly how I was going to end up doing this bed. But, um, I took all the took it and then he gave me he uh these little dripping wire pieces here. Now what these are is once I turn the water on, right? Turn it on like this, the water is gonna flow through the pipes and it's gonna come through these and it's gonna drip. Right? So this is what you call drip irrigation. Alright, so it's a slow drip and it keeps your garden bed moist. Now you can keep it on for, I don't know, however long you feel like it's necessary. And it's gonna, it's supposed to soak up the entire water bed eventually, all right? Because uh, the, as the water seeps down into the soil, it starts to spread through the soil. And the more and more water that continues to drip, the more it starts to spread to different parts of the bed. Um, I usually, I'm the typically the type of person that I always like to try to make sure everything gets watered. So 
some, I feel a little bit uncomfortable about the idea that it's not immediately soaking every single part of the bed. But some people say that a slow drip is better than just watering everything and then having the, uh, the sun pretty much uh, evaporate the stuff before it ever gets to really soak into the soil in the first place. So this is it. Slow drip system here. This is a watermelon garden bed. And uh, this is something that we just put together. And I'm gonna see if it works. I'm not sure. Remember, I'm not. A, I'm no pro. I'm no handyman. This is not something I really am. I'm really good at. But even someone like me can figure something like this out. All right. And I think everybody else should be able to. All right. Well, that's it, guys. And uh, remember, the uh, revolution would not be pesticides. Peace. Land is the basis of all independence.